What is up, everybody? It's Animac here for Anime Uproar, and man, what an amazing Black Clover chapter. This was so good, not just because we actually got to see Asta and Liebe's Devil Union form after a lot of teasing from Tabata, but more than that, we got to see who Asta really is as a person yet again. We saw Asta, who in the eyes of the nobles is just a lowly commoner born without magic and tainted by the power of a devil, emerging as the fearless savior of the Clover Kingdom. And honestly, the reactions of the other characters to Asta were just as awesome as what Asta did to that ancient demon. This chapter gave me goosebumps in the best way possible, so let's get into it. If you enjoyed the Black Clover content and you want to see more in the future, please leave a like and comment. It only takes a second, but it helps a lot. And no, I'm not just saying that, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to Anime Uproar, or maybe you watch our videos but you haven't subscribed yet, please make this the video that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications. The only way to make sure that you won't miss future videos is to go through the trouble of hitting that bell and then selecting that option that says all. Finally, this video will of course contain Black Clover manga spoilers, we are talking about the latest events in the manga, so please proceed with caution, you have been warned. So, after the Wizard King Julius, Damnatio Kira, and many others tried and failed to defeat the ancient demon who was attacking the Clover Kingdom capital, Asta steps up to the plate. He was able to use his anti-magic to negate that massive magic attack that the ancient demon was preparing to launch at the capital. And everyone who witnessed this incredible feat was instantly shocked by the extent of Asta's power. But one person who wouldn't be surprised at all is Asta's biggest rival, Yuno. Back in the Spade Kingdom, as Xenon is talking smack about how the other ancient demon is going to destroy the Clover Kingdom, Yuno just smirks and says that unfortunately for Xenon and the ancient demon, Asta is still there in the Clover Kingdom. This one brief moment shows just how much faith Yuno has in his rival and his best friend Asta. And honestly, I thought that this little quick moment was actually great. Do not make the mistake of underestimating our boy Asta, because as his greatest rival, Yuno would never make that mistake. Asta then finally reveals his new Devil Union form, and it looks freaking awesome. Asta looks like his entire body is covered in dark armor, and he seems to have additional devil lines on his face. All of his teeth are now super sharp, just like Liebe's, and the anti-magic energy around him looks different and more powerful. He now also has wings and horns on both sides of his body, symbolizing the fact that when he unites with Liebe in this new form, Asta is complete. However, we quickly learn that this new form still has at least one major limitation. As of right now, Asta and Liebe can only stay inside this devil union for about 5 minutes. But just when you think that this might hurt Asta's chances of actually defeating the demon, something so freaking epic happens. Asta declares that hey, it's all good because they'll just take down the ancient demon immediately. 5 minutes? Who needs 5 minutes? Meanwhile, once they see Asta's new form, the people of the capital begin worrying that maybe this devil magic user is also a bad guy who is working together with the ancient demon. After all, most of these people who are witnessing the fight against the ancient demon have zero understanding of devil magic and they know nothing about Asta as a person. So they immediately jump to the conclusion that all devil magic is evil and that every devil magic user is inherently dangerous. But, the people who know Asta know that he is not here to hurt the Clover Kingdom, he is here to save it. I especially want to give a big shout out to Klaus, who despite being a noble, publicly screams out his support for Asta in front of everyone. He tells Asta that he can do this, not because he is possessed by a devil, but because he is a real magic knight. Asta embodies the true spirit of a Clover Kingdom magic knight more than anyone else. Klaus then screams, Go Asta! And I have to say that in this moment, I literally got goosebumps. It was just so great. 
And while so many others inside the capital are scared of Asta because of his devil magic, and while so many others look down on him for being a commoner, the nobleman Klaus goes out of his way to encourage Asta in front of everyone. Way to go Klaus, and I hope that many other citizens of the Clover Kingdom will follow in his footsteps. Asta then tells Damnatio to watch as he saves the Clover Kingdom together with a devil. And Asta then uses the Demon Slayer sword to absolutely slay that ancient demon. Like for real, Asta literally cuts the demon's body in half with a single swing of the sword. The ancient demon is, at his core, a massive chunk of magic power that reflects any other magic. And that is why he is so hard to defeat for any magic user, even the most powerful ones. But Asta's anti-magic is something else altogether. It is not magic in the traditional sense. So that is why it is super effective against the ancient demon. It slices through his overpowered magic body like it was butter. The people of the Clover Kingdom cannot believe their eyes, and neither can Gimodelo. And Asta declares that now is the time for him to invade the Spade Kingdom and take the fight back to the Dark Triad. Wow, what a chapter. Now of course, seeing Asta's new devil form was great. Our boy is finally complete. He has finally unlocked his full potential thanks to his brother Liebe. And now they can both avenge their mother together. It is both epic and poetic and I loved every minute of it. That said, I think I might have enjoyed everyone's reaction to Asta saving the kingdom even more than the new form itself. It was just so cool to see Klaus encouraging Asta in front of everyone. It was great seeing Julius fawning over Asta's incredible new power. And it was pure joy seeing Damnatio and the other nobles react to being saved by a lowly commoner who uses the power of a devil. This is the same devil-possessed commoner that they put on trial and wanted to execute. And yet here he is now rescuing all of their noble asses. Ha <laughs> ha so good. Please let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. Did you love it as much as I did? This is probably my top 10 favorite chapters in Black Clover. It was just so epic and so poetic at the same time. Is the ancient demon really dead already? And if so, what does this say about the extent of Asta's new power? If Meroleona herself had to keep fighting that other ancient demon after he kept getting up, and yet Asta can take this demon out in literally 3 seconds, does that mean that Asta has now surpassed the level of even the strongest magic knight captains? Or is this just a matter of anti-magic being a lot more effective than fire magic against these ancient demons? Personally, I don't think that Asta could take Meta Leona in a one-on-one, -on -one, at least not yet. But anti-magic is clearly more effective on demons and devils, so Asta will definitely end up being the MVP of the climax of this arc. Either way, last time this kind of ancient demon showed up in the Clover Kingdom, he had to be put down by the first wizard king himself. So... If Asta just succeeded in taking out a demon like that on his own, or rather together with Liebe but without the help of anyone else, then Asta's power has already reached legendary status. There is no doubt about that. Finally, did you guys like Asta's new form? And what do you think about the 5 minute time limit? Is this time limit going to pose a major challenge for Asta in the future? I can definitely see it becoming an issue because the Tree of Cliffoth contains a bunch of different devils of the highest tier dispersed on different levels. So Asta probably won't be able to just take them all out at once. He will surely need more than just 5 minutes. Whatever happens though, I'm extremely excited to see the rest of this arc unfold. This just keeps getting better and better, and I'm here for it 110%. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want us to keep it coming with the Black Clover content, please leave a like to let me know, it really does help. And if you're new to the channel, or maybe you just haven't subscribed yet, make this the video that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications. You can also hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at AnimeUproar. A big thank you to all of our Anime Uproar patrons for making videos like this one possible. 
Special thank you to Alpha Sigma, disciple of Lord Twigo himself. And I can't forget all of our The One tier patrons, the ones who rise above all other clans. Including Ingrata, The World, Acquired Respect, Pate Heffa, Liam Thompson, Aljatal, Dr. Cortman, Johnny Boy Draws, Emperor Otaku, Spidey Life Tanel, Baked Buddhist, and Tungsten Tarkus. Finally, thank you to all of our Pro Hero tier patrons, including the one and only Gilgamesh, Steelers, Angel Cruz, Anatoly Kazatsky, Joe Stanton, Very Gucci, Jessica Gelafond, Rathuin Deora, Alicia Octor, Bonnie Parks, Hinokami and Water, The Red Haired Raven, Joanne Garcia, Jack Watches Anime, Fat Boy Games, Deadly Saint, Matthew Cruz, and Anthony Schreiber. If you enjoy our videos and you feel that they provide value to you, consider supporting us on Patreon. Even a single dollar will give you access to our patron-exclusive Discord, and your name will appear in our videos along with these legendary people. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, see ya, Space Cowboys!